Hey there, it's Vicki here to show you how to create this great mess stitch for the crochet version of our market bag from the August Yarnier box. So I actually prefer crochet for market bags um, as much as I live and die by knitting. Crochet just is so sturdy um, and so sculptural that for bags in general it's great, but for a market bag, that is open weave like this, you really do get that strength if you wanna carry anything heavy. Um, and I just really love how it comes together. So it's easily made with, I worked in a couple of rounds. This is a striped project. You could do it without stripes, of course. And for this project, I'm using half double crochets and double crochets with also with a series of chains. That Those are all US terms. Okay, so, we are going to start by making, creating the holes of the mesh. So to do that, we need to chain six, three, four, five, six. What that's doing, this is the beginning of our round, the first three chains are creating the height, the next three chains are creating the width of what will later be one of our open squares. So the first three chains creating the height, it's the height, it's three chains because it's the height of a double crochet, treble if you're in the UK. All right, then we're gonna skip three chain, or three stitches rather, one, two, three, and then we want to double crochet in that next stitch. And you're going under both loops. And that is your first little square created. It'll look a little bit weird on this first one until we attach it because, like I said, it, this long chain is doing the work of two, two completely different stitch patterns. All right, so then we're, from here on, we're going to chain three to create our space and then skip three, one, two, three, and then double crochet. And we're going underneath both loops pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. And we'll just continue that last, those last two steps all the way around. So chaining one, two, three, skipping one, two, three, I guess technically it's three steps we're repeating, and then double crocheting in the next. This stitch pattern is worked in multiples of four, so the Yarnier bag is kind of a smaller bag. It was maybe like a mid-sized bag. If you wanted a larger market bag, you could just increase by a multiple or two of four. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through the loop. That gets you over in the position you need to be in. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. And you'll create that all the way around. So already ha you have a mess stitch and this would work perfectly well. I've designed actually a ton of market bags and sometimes I will just start working within the chains and leave it at that. But this one I went for a little bit of a sturdier look by separating my chain rounds with half double crochets or half treble if you're working in the UK. So to do that, I've already worked, I've switched, I switched colors on you. I've already worked around all of my spaces. So you're gonna end the round by chaining three, skipping three, one, two, three, and then you'll slip a stitch in the top of, well, not the top, but in the third chain from your chain three. Remember, that is the top of, or considered the top of what would be the double crochet. Now this one is just your slip stitch, so that loop doesn't count. So one, two, here's the third. I'm going to slip stitch. And that ended that last round. So now I'm ready to start on my half double crochet round. So the instructions say to chain two, and that is, a chain two is the height of a, I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know how many I chained. Oh, I did it. Um, that's the height of a half double crochet. From here, it says that you half double crochet in the next stitch and every stitch across. Now this is just kind of a pithy way to write instructions. Um, I use that a lot, especially when I am writing on something that is in print. And so there are real estate um, 
prohibitions, if you were, if if you would. It, you know, when there's not as much space, then um, I write less. So that means that you can, what you actually can do though, is have a choice. So as it's written, you can half double crochet in every chain and every double crochet. Totally can do that. Now, so, and that would look like this, whoops. For a half double crochet, you yarn over, I would go in that chain and then the next one, and I would just continue like that all the way around so that every stitch had a stitch in it. Another license that you can take just on your own, and it creates a little bit of a different look, it's also a lot easier, especially if you're working with plied yarn that could uh, potentially split, is to work the three stitches. So instead of working in the three chains, working all three stitches in that chain three gap. One, two, three, and then you would work as normal in the double crochet. So you would go underneath both loops. And I usually use the kind of hook part of the hook, if you will, to help me get into that state, that stitch. And then you continue. So here's what it looks like if you work in the chain three spaces. Again, it's just semantics. It's it's still the point is is that you have as many eight half double crochets as there are stitches around. It's really just a choice. And this is what it would look like if you worked the chains individually. So those three stitches individually. So you can see it has a slightly different look and it's really, like I said before, just preference. You do you as always um, and don't feel, don't feel like you ever need to do exactly what a pattern says as long as the math is right. It's really about that. Find what works for you and go for it. And that's all you need to know to make this whole bag. You just need to know how to do the half double crochet and also that sort of combination of chains and double crochets to create the mesh. I've also carried that into the handle just for a little more um, sort of interest, um, but you have all the skills now you need to have to make the entire bag. All right, enjoy and please post any questions in the comment section. Thanks.